Hello internet friends, welcome back to the Future Internet Cafe. I'm your host Catherine. Before we get into today's tutorial, I just want to say thank you to all of you for being here. Your views, comments and shares, they well are creative engines like nothing else. So before we jump in, remember we are all about community here at TFIC. So don't be shy to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment below letting us know what you're most excited to learn. We love hearing from you. So let's get started in today's tutorial we are going to look at how to pay for your interim driver's license and apply for your driving license as a new driver so you have already enrolled to your driving school you have already done your test and you have passed so what do you do next the first thing you need to do is apply for pay for your interim driving license and then apply for a driving license as a new driver in this tutorial we are going to show you how to do that step by step so the first thing you need to do is go to your browser type ecitizen.go.ka and it will take you to the ecitizen page as you see on your screen click on the sign in button if you don't have an ecitizen account make sure you open one we have a tutorial on our page so click on sign in upon clicking the sign in button please enter your id number and password and click on sign in once you click on sign in, enter your email address or your ID number and your password and click on sign in. Once you are signed in, it will ask you where to send a one-time password OTP, also known as OTP. You can either choose your email or your phone number depending on what you have access to. For the purpose of this tutorial, we used the phone number. Um, it's going to ask you where you want to your OTP to be sent for verification. So you have two options. You can choose either your email or your phone, depending on which one you have access to. For this case, I chose the phone because I have access to the phone. Once you click it, it's okay. Once you receive the OTP either on your email or your phone number, please input it on the enter OTP and click on next. An OTP is going to be sent either to your email or your phone depending on the method that you chose. Enter the OTP also known as the one time password and click on next. It's going to open your eCitizen account. Confirm that the details are yours before you continue to update your to renew your driving license. It's going to open your e citizen account profile make sure your details are correct from the name the id number the email address so that you don't apply using another person's account so once you make sure everything is okay then you're good to go once you confirm that the account is yours the details are correct scroll down and head over to ntsa national transport and safety authority new please note that there are two of them this is the old one and the new one click on the new one scroll down until you find ntsa national transport and safety authority ntsa new okay don't use the old one so make sure you click on the right one which is the new one ntsa new okay again if the details are correct click on continue once you do that, it's going to ask you again to confirm if you are signing in with using your account details. If it's you, click on continue. If it's not your account, please click on not your logout and use your account to apply. Okay. So it's going to open your NTSA portal home profile. It's going to show you the details, the services up there. So as you can see under test booking, it says that you have passed your exam. So it's asking you to pay for your interim. So click on pay for interim. Once you click on pay for interim, it's going to show you your 
um, general information for applying for an interim driving license. So there's nothing you're going to fill there. You're just going to confirm that the details are correct and then click on next. Okay, on the next page, it's going to ask you to upload a passport photo. So click on choose file to upload your passport photo. Once you have uploaded your passport photo, click on next. On the next page, it's going to ask you to declare, to confirm that you have provided all the information that is required. You'll do that by clicking on the checkbox, the green, white checkbox. So once you have done that, click on submit. Okay, the next stage is payment. The interim driving license is 750 Kenyan shillings. So choose your payment method and pay. In this case, we use Tempesa. So you enter your phone number, you click on pay. A prompt is sent to your phone asking you, do you want to pay 750 shillings to a citizen? You just enter your Mpesa pin and click on send. Once you get a confirmation from Mpesa, you come back to a citizen and click on complete. Congratulations, you have successfully applied and paid for your interim driving license. So click on download. So once you download your interim driving license, this is how it looks like. You can print and keep a copy for yourself. It's usually valid for six months. Okay. After applying for your applying and paying for your interim driving license, the next thing you need to do is now pay for your driver's license. As a new driver, remember, you don't have a driver's license. So in order to acquire a driver's license, you first pay for your interim and then you pay for your driver's license. So your portal will reflect that. It will show that your interim is active and you need to pay for your driver's license. So click on pay for driver's license. So once you click on that, it's going to take you to the driving license general information. Choose the type of driving license that you want between smart driving license, which is valid for three years and the red book, which is uh, valid for one year. Also fill in details of your place of birth, your county of residence and your country of residence. Okay.
okay scroll down after filling your all the uh, all the details as they apply to you your physical address your postal address postal code make sure you choose the biometrics center for smart dl they have to take your biometrics so fill in and choose your biometric center once you have done and you have filled everything as it appears and uh, applies to you um, declare click on the checkbox to confirm that you have provided the information as is required once you have done that click on submit okay the next stage is payment the smart dl is usually 3050 shillings so choose your method of payment and make sure you pay that money in this case we used mpesa again so for mpesa enter your phone number click on pay a prompt will be sent to your phone it will ask you do you want to pay that 50 to a citizen confirm by entering your mpesa pin and um, once you get the mpesa message confirmation that the money has gone through come back and click on complete okay once you complete your smart dl application um, it's going to show you there you can download and print your receipt and make sure you book an appointment for the smart driving license appointment for the biometrics you'll do that by clicking on book now so once you choose the appointment on book now choose the um, location biometric center choose the date and the time once you have done that click on save remember Okay, congratulations, you have applied for a new driver's license and your appointment has been booked. So make sure you go to your biometric center on the day, on the date that you have chosen and the time for your biometrics. Once your biometrics have been taken, it usually takes around one week for you to get your smart DL, which will be valid for the next three years and then you can renew it again. So thank you guys for watching. If this video helped you, you can share with a friend. Um, if you liked it, click the like button. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. And if you'd like us to feature anything also, leave a comment. So thank you so much guys for watching and see you next time. Remember we post a new video every week. So thank you. See you guys next time.